What we have here is a dish that takes five minutes to make. It only has four ingredients. It's three bucks. It's too delicious. And it's a one pot meal. I'm gonna lead you on this choose your own adventure path and essentially you'll be left with your own customized version of this. All right, we start with bacon. It's a delicious product that we've invented. And if you don't eat bacon or you don't have bacon, you could go with a hard sausage like a chorizo, you could go with a, a sweet sausage like an Italian sausage. You wanna go with something that's high fat. If you don't eat pork, maybe you have some leftover Short ribs, I don't know. And if you don't even eat meat, then just olive oil is a delicious thing also. So I say you start with just a little bit of olive oil and that's gonna help whatever you put in there cook faster. Ow! Try and get each piece to uh, spread around. Pancetta, guanciale, prosciutto would work okay. Just regular boiled ham would be great. You could probably even try it with sliced turkey. You just have to add a little extra olive oil so that you get the fat content up. That's my two cents, free of charge. Okay, garlic. <laughs> so, you can smash like that and just throw it in to sort of flavor your oil. You can come in with your garlic and give it a little choo-choo train slice. That's another way you could do it, no problem. Boom, nice and thin. That's if you wanna keep the garlic in. Or option number three, I'm just giving it a little smash to peel the skin off here. You come in, you take the whole clove of garlic and you just kind of score it. The scoring sort of allows the fat in this pan to sort of penetrate into the garlic, but you can still take it out after. If you think you need more fat, go for it. So as far as the garlic goes, it's sort of a choose your own adventure. Whole clove that you pull out with the skin on, whole clove with the skin off scored or sliced. You pick. Once your meat of choice has cooked, you wanna pull it out so that it doesn't burn. Slotted spoon, you know, leave the fat behind. Okay, garbanzo beans, chickpeas, chekchi, whatever you wanna call them. These are great, they store really, really well in the can. I actually prefer them in the can to the dried ones. The chickpea is perfect because it's really, really strong on the outside. If you used a different kind of bean, it would fall apart and you'd be making like this strange hummus. We don't want that. We want whole beans at the end because it gives you something texturally awesome. And texture is part of delicious food. It's not all about flavor. Flavor is important, but so is texture. So are looks. It's the whole shebang. So at this point, I think smoked paprika is a really great option to put in because it's gonna add a ton of flavor. It's gonna match the smokiness of the bacon, or if you didn't put bacon, it's gonna give you smokiness that wasn't there already. Just try and get it around. I'm gonna throw spinach on top and then we're gonna add liquid. This could be kale. This could be collard greens. This could be Swiss chard. It could be broccoli. It's another choose your own adventure. Something with a high water content, something that's gonna go down and something that's gonna give you some green fiber. Okay, this is water. I know you have it. Could be white wine, could be beer. So now is a good time to inspect the bacon, you know, just make sure that it's... Mm. Quite good. All right, that's been 45 seconds. Remember, spinach always looks like more than it is. It turns into nothing. So our spinach has wilted. You wanna get a little more color? I think you wanna get a little more color. It's like a painting. It needs to have all the colors in the spectrum. You might say, oh, that looks really spicy, Frank. And my answer is, uh, well, it, there are so many different kinds of paprika, pimenton. They can be sweet, they can be smoky, they can be hot. This one is, it's sort of a smoky sweet one. So it's not like I'm dumping cayenne on here because that's a completely different kind of pepper. This one is subtle. It looks more intense than it tastes. All right, bacon goes back. We will put the tiniest bit of salt. And now that the flame is off, we will add some olive oil. And this is not the same as putting olive oil at the beginning because this is raw, fruity olive oil at the end that won't be cooked. So this has a whole different thing. It lightens the dish. It gives you this, this fruity, peppery thing, whereas the oil that we started with in the beginning is garlicky and intense and, and, and dark, less optimistic, deep into its 40s, if you will. 
Yeah, I can smell the fresh, fresh olive oil. It smells, oh. I said we played it. Okay, so look, remember the garlic? We had the big cloves so we could pull it out. Here it comes, it comes out. Goodbye. If you didn't put olive oil, this could be a place to put some right now. Nice fruity feather. Fa la la, fa la la. Even a little bit of balsamic vinegar would not be out of place here. So why is this awesome? It's awesome because you've got tons of protein, tons of fiber, you're getting your greens for the day, you're getting your beans for the day. It's smoky, it's fatty, but in a healthy fatty way. And it's really cheap to make. I don't think you can beat it, really. Filling, healthy, sexy.